by the end of this month, the whole 300 military, the whole 300 observers will be on, on the ground. And I believe their presence will make quite a difference. The need for human rights abuses to come to an end cannot be underestimated. This is part of the plan, part of what the mission is all about. And I think once uh, we are fully deployed, we will be able to have even greater impact in this area. And it must be understood that we need to ensure that all aspects of the six-point plan is implemented to create a conducive environment for us to move on to the political uh, dialogue. I believe that the UN supervision mission is possibly the only remaining chance to stabilize the country. And I, I'm sure I'm not telling you any secret when I tell you that there is a profound concern that the country could otherwise descend into full civil war. And the implications of that are quite frightening. We cannot allow that to happen. The violence must stop and a credible political process must begin for the sick of the Syrian people who have suffered so much and whose welfare must be at the center of everything we try to do. If uh, it fails, as the Secretary General has warned, and it were to lead into a, a, a civil war, it will not uh, affect only Syria. It will have an impact in the whole region. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. How's it going? Good. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please come in. Ten seconds. Your friend has a